Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today, I would like to present a short teaching on Abraham. But this, before I do so, allow me to give thanks in the Hebrew language by saying the Lord's Prayer shortly in the Hebrew language. Avinu Sheba Shemaim Yit Kadesh Shemka Tavo Malkuteka Ye Ase Gratsoneka Uva Aretz Na Ashava Shamaim Ten Lanu Hayom Rahem Shkei Yuselak Lanu Et Ashmatenu Kaashe Solekim anaknu la sha shemulanu. Veal tevienu kim hazilenu min hara. Kileka hamamlaka ve hagefura. Ve hatiferet le olemei olamim. Hallelujah, amei. I would like to present a short uh, discourse with regard to our father Abraham. The scripture says clearly that he lived in Ur of the Chaldeans. Some historians call it Mesopotamia. And uh, as Abraham lived in Ur of the Chaldeans, there are things that are said about him. Some say he was an astrologer. Others say he was a philosopher. Uh, the Talmud also says that Abraham was an astrologer and a philosopher. But one thing must cannot be ignored, and that is the faith that Abraham had when he heard the voice of Yahweh Elohim. His influence transcended the influence that had taken over his life while he was in Ur of the Chaldeans. Some rabbis claim that most people, the kings of the East, used to visit Abraham because of his gift of telling about the stars and the constellations. We also confirm this when Yahweh Elohim spoke to him. He told him to come out of his house and look up to heaven. And by so doing and being a master of constellation, Yahweh Elohim told him that thy descendants shall be greater than the stars of the heavens. And therefore, when Abraham, being a master of the constellation, was able to confirm the words of Yahweh Elohim, he took a step of faith and traveled a 4,000 kilometer journey from Ur of the Chaldeans. He passed by Haran downwards to the land of Negev. Negev in the Hebrew language is south. And that is where he pitched his first tent and also erected an, an altar to Yahweh our Elohim. Now, I'd like us to read a verse about him and his sons. That is in Genesis 25. Uh, I'll, I'll begin reading from verse 5. Now, Abraham gave all that he had to Ishak, but to the sons of the concubines whom Abraham had. Abraham gave gifts while he was still living, and sent them away from his son Ishak, eastward to the land of the east. And there, all the years of Abraham's life, which he lived 175 years. Uh, there is something striking in that the scripture says, Abraham gave all that he had to Isaac, but unto the sons of the concubines, he gave gifts and sent them away. 
Now, when the scripture is talking about gifts, it's not necessarily talking about cows and sheep and uh, gold and silver. No, these are abilities. These are spiritual abilities. Even though